Hello everyone, it's Kathy Zilski here for Simon Says Stamp. And I'm so excited to be creating a video today with the My Favorite Things Stamp Timber exclusive. This stamp set is called All Always, Always My Favorite. And it features sweet little owls and then some punny greetings. Thanks for all you do. You will always, always be my, you will always be my favorite. Make today awesome. Hope your day is a hoot. Ooh, loves you, I do. And then happy birthday from all of us. Very cute set. There are coordinating dies available. All of this while supplies last. Today, I want to do something in one layer. I don't want to fussy cut. I don't have the dies. And what I want to do is create a scene on a branch to create a charming little birthday card. Let me show you what I did before I started filming this video. First of all, I stamped and cut out little masks for each of the owls that I'm potentially going to use. I cut out all of them because I wasn't sure if I was going to use this little friend or not. And these little masks are going to help me to create my one layer card. I also have my branch and I thought it would be cute to do a panel like this. Sometimes I will do little sketches just to kind of figure out what my masking might need to be or what this design could look like. But if you'll notice, my branch isn't quite that long to fit all those people on there, or owls, if, if you will. And so I'm going to draw it just a little bit larger using a Pilot pen that is Copic marker friendly. So let's get out my Misty so we can start stamping the branch. To get started, I am going to take my little owl friends and I'm just going to put my magnet down here while I am planning the placement. So I'm going to take each owl and I don't even think, well, you know what, I might do a little overlapping. I am going to start here. Okay. Let me put some music on. We'll speed this up. Now I have my owls in place and it's time to go ahead and place my branch. And here's what's kind of cool is now I can, I can really see where I want the owls to be and I need to make sure that, you know, their little feet are mostly lined up on the branch and then we will be drawing it out. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Now, what you need to do for this step, because I have my masks all placed down, I need to put a little bit of tape over the end of this branch so that I can extend it. I'm just going to use some very, very low tech tape from Simon Says Stamp just to protect that part of the stamp. Now, I'll ink up my branch. Don't forget to remove the tape. You do not want to transfer that ink and bring it down and transfer. I'm gonna lift that up. I actually think that looks really good. I don't, I don't even think I'm going to stamp that a second time. I'm going to grab my Simonson Stamp Positively Everything T-Square Ruler. And here's what's nice. You can, let's see here, get this right where you want it to be. I'm just gonna use this to extend that line. Now, I'll be very careful at first because I'm not 100% sure um, if this is gonna be right on the money, but it's probably gonna be close. Oh yeah, like that. Now it doesn't really, even if I go off a little and I kinda did there, that's okay. Oh no, it has an actual angle to it. Oh, kinda went a little thick there. Uh, let's darken that line up then. All right, 
little bit doubled, no big deal. It's still going to look really good. I think I went too firm on that. All right. Let's get you right here. And again, try to go a little lighter here. Like that. All right. That is a little better. I'm not too worried about that underneath because I still think it's going to look adorable. I'm going to use this Simon Says Stamp Clouds for Days. And I'm going to mask off the parts that I don't want to get blended. And I'm just going to add a little here. I'm going to use the color marine. I think that would be very nice. So I'm going to just tap a little off here because I just want this to be kind of soft and pretty. I'll hold my stencil in place. Just add a little cloud. And I guess I could come down. Let's try one more different line of cloud. All right. I'm just going to use the residual that's on the brush. Like that. Sometimes you don't even need to re-ink. Like that. And I am going to trim this down a little, so I'm not really worried about that edge over there. Now let's see what that looks like. Very sweet clouds in the sky. See how cute that is? And you can keep the, the masks that you make. You can put them right over your little friends and you can use them again, especially if you don't get them too inky, but you can put them right back on. And now, oh, it's so cute. Whoops, I accidentally took this friend off and it looks like we got a little bit in his head. I'm not gonna worry about it too much because we're gonna color him and let's grab some markers. I'm going to keep it very simple. So again, I'll put a little music on and we are gonna color our owls. If you're like me and you make mistakes while you're coloring, it's always a good idea to have a Copic colorless blender. Now I replace a lot of the nibs. This is the brush side, right? But I pull out my chisel and pop in the fine chisel nib and I will have those linked below. I just don't stay in the lines very well. And what's nice about this is if you find an area where you're a little out of the lines, you can push over it and it's almost like you're erasing. It will lift the ink where you went out of the lines. I use this a lot because I just, you know, staying in the lines is not really in the wheelhouse. 
and that's why I kept my coloring all in brown. Once I start trying to cash creative checks that my body's not ready to write, I don't have as much fun. But I actually think this is really cute. I got a little extra, got a little aggressive right in here. So we'll just go over it. Try to not go on your image because it will it will lift the ink right off your image. And those are my owls. The reason I wanted my four owls is because, well, there's four people in my family. So if we were going to say from all of us, we'd have to have all four. I guess that represents my son. That's not really that accurate, but definitely me and my hubby. Okay, let's make sure that looks lined up. And I think it does. I'm going to emboss with the Ultra Fine Antique Gold Powder from Simon Says Stamp. So let's get out our embossing ink. This is the clear. And I'm also going to powder this up with anti-static powder because I don't want, well, and I, I will probably have to brush away a little from the owls, but I just want my greeting to stamp nice and clean. I really only want to stamp this once. All right, we will bring it down and press. Let me get a folded piece of paper. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's gonna look very nice. Such a warm powder. I really love this color. Okay. I actually just dusted off the powder and stamped it again off camera because I felt like I didn't get a great impression. Here's the thing, if you leave your stamp in position in your Misty tool, you can just dust off the powder and come at it again and, and get a better impression. But just know you're probably gonna have a little more static when you are handling your paper. Now, I have just a very simple and sweet greeting. All right, I will get a die to trim this out. Now comes the time where I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna crop this pretty narrowly because I want my greeting to feel centered. And this is gonna give me a lot of white space on my card. So I'm gonna tape this down with some of the Simon tape and go ahead and run that through my die cut machine. I've got just a little tiny area that I wasn't quite planning on cutting out. So I'm going to dry, draw that right to the edge there like that. And then I'll just get my marker just to fill that little area in like that. I've got foam tape on the back of my panel. We're just going to put this on a white note card. And I think this is so pretty to have a sweet little scene. and just have all that lovely white space. And that is my finished card. Such a simple card, a little shiny greeting. You could put it in a blue envelope or in a green envelope or just white. But I, I love the idea of creating more of what you need and keeping your coloring so simple. You can find links to all the supplies I used in this video below in the YouTube description box. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel so you don't miss the next video we share. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.